<laughs> All right, so Cavs lost again last night, this time to the Spurs, uh, who were, of course, were without Kawhi Leonard. Kevin Love hit the deck in the third quarter, and none of his teammates, none of them, even came over to give him a helping hand. Wow. And this just into the Jump News Desk, K-Love tweets, quote, would be special to end up on the same All-Star team as Klay Thompson. Our families have been friends for a long time. Crazy that's even a possibility. Just a thought. And quote, Scotty, is this a cry for help? Uh, I don't I don't think so. I, I think K-Love K is fine. Uh, I definitely don't think he's going to be going out to the Warriors. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I, I can see the Cavs bounce back on their feet. You know, I, it, we haven't seen this team struggle for a while because of LeBron James, and now everyone is hitting the panic button. But I, I really think they're going to be fine. Look at Jay Crowder here. He looks down at him. <laughs> that's I, it was a step over. That's a, that's the uh, Iverson Ty Lue right there, right? Well, the crazy thing here Lower is level, the whole yeah. bench doesn't even react. Not even the trainer. So in the Cavs office, this used to be David Griffin's um, picture, but it, it later became Kobe Altman, their current general manager's mm -hmm. picture. I mean, it's got to be four feet wide by six feet tall, guys is a picture of Tristan Thompson laying on the ground after taking a charge and all four of his Cavs teammates reaching help him up. Oh, that right there oh, oh. hangs on the wall of the Cavs general manager's office. Every time David Griffin or Kobe Altman makes a trade call from their desk, that's what they see giant over. That's what the Cavs are supposed to be. And I know this sounds altruistic, rah, rah basketball stuff, but look how far away that team, which won the championship is. That uh, pitch is telling a lot right there. Scotty, but you, uh, have you ever been in a locker room where there was someone who got frozen out like that? It feels like he's getting frozen out. No, I haven't been in that type of locker room, and I think that's unfair justice to Kevin right now. Uh, I think that anytime you're on a team, you want to feel wanted, and right. it doesn't look like he's in that position right now that his teammates are totally turning against him, not only off the court, but also on the court. And it's starting to show, and you normally don't see it happen on the court. You know guys don't get along off the court, but when it starts to happen on the court, then you, that's, you that's, really got to be That's extreme, off. right? You know, most of the time, guys can kind of mask it or, or fake their way through a game or through the public moments, but Brian, they can't even do that? You know, <laughs> this is. By the way, we're going through the greatest hits. Yeah, it's right such now. a cliche, but it's, Kevin Love is sort of the third wheel. And, he, you know, it reminds me so much of Chris Bosh in Miami because they play similar positions. And Chris Bosh was apt to be sitting in the locker room looking at a code book. Right. You know, when his other teammates yeah. were looking at fashion and, and their shoes and stuff like that. Chris was just a little bit different. And because of his nature as being the third wheel, he got ostracized a little bit. That's what Kevin Love has dealt with. But that's what Kevin Love is used to. He's gotten, he can handle that. What is not fair is for him to be his professionals to be questioned. Because I can make the argument, including LeBron James, that there's been no more player on the Cavs who's been more professional over these last four years than Kevin Love. You know, my thing is this. You're not talking about a first-year player or a second-year player. It's a 10-year vet. He's been an all-NBA player. He's been an all-star. He got named all-star yesterday. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the idea that now all of a sudden he's getting cold feet, 